Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to look into how you can recommend solutions for network security. Network security is protecting the communication of resources within and outside of your network. The goal is to limit exposure at the network layer across your services and systems. By limiting this exposure, you decrease the likelihood that your resources can be attacked. So in the focus of network security, your efforts can be focused on these three following areas. Securing traffic flow between applications and the internet, securing traffic flow amongst the applications, and securing traffic flow between users and the application. So securing traffic flow between application and the internet focuses on limiting exposure outside your network. Network attacks will most frequently start outside of your network. So by limiting the internet exposure and securing the perimeter, the risk of being attacked can be reduced. Securing traffic flow amongst applications focuses on data between applications and their tiers between different environments and in other services within your network as well. By limiting exposure between these resources, you reduce the effect of the compromised resource. And finally, securing traffic flow between users and the application focuses on securing the network flow for your end users. First step is to start by assessing the resources that are internet facing and only allow inbound and outbound communication where necessary. Identify all resources that are allowed inbound network traffic of any type and ensure they are necessary and restricted to only the ports or protocols required. Azure Security Center will identify internet-facing resources that don't have network security groups associated with them, as well as resources that are not secured behind a firewall. So to provide inbound protection at the perimeter, there are a couple of ways to do. The first one is Application Gateway, which is a layer 7 load balancer that also includes a web application firewall to provide advanced security for your HTTP-based services. The web application firewall is based on rules from the OSAP 3.0 or 2.2.9 core rule and provides protection from commonly known vulnerabilities such as cross-site scripting and SQL injunction. The next method is to use virtual network security. Once inside a virtual network, it's important to limit communication between resources to only what is required. For communication between virtual networks, network security group are a critical piece to restrict unnecessary communication. Network security groups operate at layer 3 and 4 and provide a list of allowed and denied communication to and from network interfaces and subnets. Network security groups are fully customizable and give you the ability to fully lock down network communication to and from your virtual machines as well. By using network security groups, you can isolate applications between environments, tiers, and services. It's common to have existing network infrastructure that needs to be integrated to provide communication from on-premises network or to provide improved communication between services in Azure. There are a few key ways to handle this integration and improve the security of your network. Virtual private network connections are a common way of establishing secure communication channels between networks and this is no different when working with virtual networking on Azure. Connection between Azure Virtual Network and on-premises VPN device is a great way to provide secure communication between your network and your virtual machines on Azure. To provide a dedicated private connection between your network and Azure, you can use ExpressRoute. ExpressRoute lets you extend your on-premises network into Microsoft Cloud over a private connection facilitated by connectivity provider. With ExpressRoute, you can establish connections to Microsoft Cloud services such as Microsoft Azure, Office 365, and Dynamics 365. This improves the security of your on-premises communication by sending this traffic over the private circuit instead of over the internet. 
So to integrate multiple virtual network in Azure, virtual network pairing establishes a direct connection between designated virtual networks. Once established, you can use network security groups to provide isolation between resources in the same way you secure resources within a virtual network. This integration gives you the ability to provide the same fundamental layer of security across your peer virtual networks. Communication is only allowed between directly connected virtual networks. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about how can you recommend solutions for hybrid networks. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.